It is spring break, but instead of fun in the sun later this week, some kids across the valley home recovering from the flu. This is a later than normal flu season. We connect with a local pediatrician to find out what type of symptoms warrant a trip to the ER as opposed to just a visit to your doctor. The flu has hit Southern Nevada. We have a lot of kids coming down prior to spring break, mind you, with influenza A. Dr. Carrie Weejay Singha of Siena Pediatrics in Henderson says the strain is hitting her office hard. In just one day, her practice treated 20 kids for the flu. A lot of them are having high fevers, like 102 to 104. Uh, a lot of runny noses, cough, uh, very wet cough, uh, to sore throats. Body aches help us, that tips us off to test. Um, and some headaches. The flu typically peaks in December, January, and February, but we're in mid April, which is the result of what Dr. Vijay Singha calls another ripple effect of the pandemic. Where certain viruses have been pushed, uh, you know, into a kind of different timeline, and we're all hopeful that it'll reset at some point. While pediatricians are really good at handling the basics for flu treatment, ear infections, sending kids out for chest x rays, or doing breathing treatments for kids with asthma, Dr. Vijay Singha. Haas says rush on over to the emergency room if your child exhibits the following. Having a hard time breathing, uh, God forbid turning blue, um, fevers that are not controlled with the proper doses of Motrin and Tylenol, and again that's uh, depending on the age of the child, uh, that would maybe warrant a visit to the ER even in the middle of the night. Another thing to be cautious of, there are secondary infections that can start after you've been diagnosed with the flu. Those ear infections we talked about and pneumonia. So she says this is not something you want to take lightly.